We've got uh, fish, chicken, beef, tripe. There's probably at least seven different kinds of meats in here. Sled dogs are not your typical pets. They're super athletes. Trained to run thousands of miles through some of the harshest weather on the planet. In order to succeed, a number of factors come into play, the most important of which may be nutrition. These sled dogs, they're marathoners, they're the supreme marathon athletes. So, as we all know, to have a great athletic performance, you need the genetics, you need the conditioning, and you need nutrition. So what exactly do you feed these four-legged super athletes? You know, there are a lot of specific aspects to the, uh, the kibble formulations to uh, provide the optimal benefit to these dogs. Now, a lot of the mushers will feed roughly half of the diet as meat, meat products. Uh, or fish, and then half kibble. Sled dogs will run thousands of miles throughout the year. Putting out that much energy requires a lot of calories. The studies have been done on Iditarod dogs. We're figuring they utilize about 10 to 12,000 calories a day. You know, that's a huge caloric intake. You know, to put that in terms that people might be able to relate to more directly, uh, if the average sled dog's 50 pounds, say the average person's roughly three times that, so if they're using 10,000 calories a day for our dogs, the average adult human, maybe 30,000 calories would be an equivalent. So 30,000 calories would be, uh, you'd have to eat 50 Big Macs a day. That's a lot of food. So how often do mushers have to feed their dogs? Each kennel kind of has their own way of doing it. Some mushers like to go um, smaller um, distances, shorter distances, and, and snack more frequently. Others will go longer distances and feed bigger meals. So it's not just about being fast. What the dogs are eating and how often has a huge impact on how their bodies convert food into energy, making it possible for them to run such long distances. You know, you could once again extrapolate to a, a race car. You know, if you don't put good fuel in it, uh, all the other efforts are for naught. So without the right nutrition, they're not gonna uh, function nearly as well. 